In all three modern live-action adaptations of Spider-Man, they each had their own take of the prototype costume. Raimi's Spider-Man had the wrestler suit that he used in his fight against Boronsol. Webb's Spider-Man had the vigilante suit, which he wore to find his uncle's killer, and now the MCU had their own take on the initial Spider-Man costume. So for this video, we are going to be covering the MCU homemade Spider-Man suit. This suit makes its first appearance in Captain America Civil War after Tony Stark loads up video footage of Spider-Man during his earlier days. However, its first full appearance is in Spider-Man Homecoming where he reverts back to this after Tony Stark confiscated his current suit. This was seen in the later acts of the film when he goes up against a vulture as he was planning to hijack a plane that was transporting weapons to the new Avengers headquarters. So far, its last appearance is also in this film, when Tony Stark decided to hand back his newer suit as Peter finally redeemed himself. The suit consists of a red zipper, sleeveless hoodie with a black spider logo imprinted at the front but not at the back. It has a blue sweatsuit that covers a greater portion of the costume, red boots that extended almost up to the knees, red and black fingerless gloves, and a red mask made with the same fabric as a sweatsuit with the stitching line directly at the center. The lenses are instead goggles that are attached onto the mask. They aren't really regular goggles, but one where it features white mesh that captures a more authentic Spidey look. They also have eye expressions featuring the same or similar shutter technology as its successor. The costume doesn't feature any sort of webbing and was made with the available resources Peter had at the time. This was intended to capture a more realistic feel as many would know that Peter always had financial difficulties. And the suits from previous live action adaptations seemed way too polished and would probably cost a fortune to make for your average teenager that struggled with his rent. He also had to use his old web shooters as a newer one was also confiscated from him. It features a red elastic band with the main components such as the web cartridge, nozzles and trigger being attached onto it. This still continues from Garfield's Spider-Man, where the web shooters are worn outside rather than underneath the suit, which would make more sense as they are pretty bulky. So far, this is the closest web shooter design to the one from the mainstream Marvel Universe. To add on from this, the costume pays homage to Ben Reilly's Scarlet Spider suit that he wore during the infamous Clone Saga in the 90s as well as after his resurrection. This features in the Spider-Man PS4 game titled, Homemade Suit. It is unlocked after you complete the chapter, something old, something new, and then by finding all the backpacks in the game. This suit later inspires a one from Miles Morales that featured in Spider-Man Annual Volume 2, issue number 1, which showcased his rewritten origin after being displaced in Earth 616. It's also in the Miles Morales PlayStation game, known as a homemade suit, that is unlocked once you reach level 11. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Marvel content.